I'm Peter Fitch from IOI Palmwood, Malaysia, the CEO. And Peter Fitch uh, has an outstanding experience in the timber industry sector, especially with panels, and has a long time working in Malaysia. So he knows the sector, he knows uh, plantations, he knows the panel markets. And so it's perfect for him to give us his ideas about the future of OPT production, OPT use for production of panels. Okay, you have the floor, Peter. Thank you. Okay. Uh, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, thank you very much for inviting me to, uh, to join uh, this uh, prestigious event uh, by Palmer Kuala Lumpur 2021. Can everybody see my screen? Perfect. Is it is it in the full full screen or is it um, not uh, not yet full? Not yet. Uh, full. Peter is not full. Please make the full uh, screen. Uh. Is it full? Not yet. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll try again. How about perfect. this? It's perfect. perfect. Okay, great. Thank you very much. Okay, so um, I'll get straight into the presentation. I'll try to um, catch up a little bit of time for everybody. Okay, um, Stefan was very gracious to, um, to mention um, IOI, Corp, IOI Palmwood as the uh, first major customer for the uh, Palmwood.net consortium. But to give you a little bit of um, background, um, I also have come from the um, MDF and particle board business in Malaysia. And um, for many years, we've been very frustrated about the lack of uh, raw material. Uh, as we were primarily using uh, rubber wood, and we were seeing less and less um, rubber wood being available, particularly in, in, uh, in Malaysia. So it's always been my um, ambition to try to find a sustainable and alternative um, wood supply. It just so happened that fate would have, have it that um, we had a contact with um, IOI Group, which is a large uh, plantation company. Also the presentation uh, in Malaysia from the uh, members of the palmwood.net to the uh, MPMA, which is the Malaysian Panel Manufacturers Association, of which I was uh, an executive member of. And I could see straight away the potential of using um, OPT as a substitute for tropical timbers and for rubber wood and to boost the uh, Malaysian economy. Basically, IOI Palmwood is a joint venture between the IOI Corporation um, and myself. The IOI Corporation has, um, sorry, I just need to, um, I need to, uh, I need to change, ah, okay. So, the, IO, the IOI Corporation has about 30,000 employees around the world and 25,000 of those are in Malaysia. It's a large corporation with an annual revenue of about uh, 2.8 billion US dollars just on the uh, plantation side. And um, it's also involved in both upstream and uh, downstream and also in, involved in uh, power generation and uh, property development. So what motivates us to look at palm wood as a substrate for the future? What motivates me is that it's a, a new sustain, a sustainable source of raw material. Okay, this is the prime reason why I'm looking at uh, palm wood. But also, over the, especially over the last five years, there's also a need to fight climate change and to reduce the carbon emission. Um, I think the timber industry as a whole has a, a large role to play in this. And uh, I think um, combining this with the uh, oil palm plantation business, there's a huge potential here. The other thing which 
also motivates me to do the business is that this business is very scalable. I think we've seen from the other, the other presentations what a huge potential we have in utilizing OPT, not just in Malaysia, but also in Indonesia, Thailand, uh, West Africa, and uh, South America. And last but not least is our ability to make a profit, but to make a profit with a purpose. I think this is very important for all companies and all businesses going forward. If we look at the sustainability, we see that Malaysia has about 5.8 million hectares of oil palm currently under cultivation, which equals about 800 million trees which are replanted every 25 years. So this means that approximately 30 million trunks or trees are available per year. If we look in comparison to what we can see in the, um, the forestry uh, sector or the timber sector, in terms of forest plantation, there's only 0.12 million hectares. In terms of rubber plantation, now less than 0.8 million hectares. And forest reserve, only 4.35. But of course, forest reserve is a very hot topic where obviously there's a lot of um, pressure from NGOs not to touch the uh, forest reserve for, for logging and uh, timber extraction. If we look at IOI in particular, IOI has approximately 180,000 hectares currently under oil palm plantation, generating about 3 million metric tons of EFB and refining about 2.2 million metric tons of CPO. And IOI sees that, yes, this business model is very good, but they want to create a circular business economy. So they want to look at creating a business model, which is, uh, which is a, a circular business model. If we move to the next um, uh, reason why we, we're doing this is because of climate change. So we're looking at repurposing biomass waste into a material which can capture carbon. In the previous uh, presentations, it was mentioned that approximately one cubic meter of, uh, um, of uh, oil palm wood can capture about one ton of carbon. So this is, this is tremendous. Also, we replace normal timbers. So even though we can't stop deforestation, we can at least slow deforestation. We can also reduce carbon emission by using renewable energy. So part of the remit of this project is also to make sure that we have a renewable energy uh, biomass uh, heater so that we can power our operation using uh, renewable energy. And I think it's also very important to rethink how to produce high performance materials sustainably. Um, I think this is going to be a very important thing for all of our customers uh, moving forward. Not just IKEA, who we hear about very often, but even the end customer, the, uh, the B2C, it's also very, the sustainability and uh, environmental credentials of a company is becoming more and more important. I apologize a little bit for this slide. It's quite a busy slide, but this is a way that I'm trying to show how um, IOI Palmwood is going to be integrating within the existing IOI business. I'm not sure if you can see my mouse, but um, if we start off with the um, oil palm plantation, of course, the normal route is to produce the uh, empty fruit bunch, or sorry, the fruit bunches, which are then processed in the uh, palm oil mill to create uh, CPO, crude palm oil. And then that's then further processed to produce the oleochemicals, the speciality fats and oils, and also the biodiesel. Byproducts of this process are the EFB, the empty fruit bunches, the, the fiber, and the shells. So 
that the IOI is looking to use all this material to use as fuel for a cogeneration plant, which will supply the steam, thermal oil, and electricity for both the palm oil mill and the palm wood factory. If we then look at the trunks, so during the replanting cycle, we take the trunks, we process them in the uh, palm wood factory. I think rather than explaining the process, I think Stefan has already explained how we uh, intend to process the palm wood. But again, we have residues. We have the offcuts and the sawmill residues, which again can be fed into this cogeneration plant. So as you can see, we're trying to generate a circular business model where we can use every part of the biomass produced. At IOI Palmwood, we're not looking just at the opportunities of using the OPT. Um, part of our uh, scope of uh, work is that we're also looking at other sustainability opportunities. So if we talk about how much biomass is actually generated, we find that actually the fronds is the largest volume of biomass uh, currently available. And we think that there is an opportunity in the future at being able to harvest those fronds, and then perhaps produce biocomposites such as particle boards and MDF. Biomass waste for renewable energy. I think this has already been mentioned and we're already well on the way to do that. We're also using the, uh, the POM effluent to produce the biogas, which is also generates electricity in, uh, in our palm oil mills. And also we're looking at using the surplus EFB to produce bioplastics, okay, which is the cellulose material uh, generated from, uh, from EFB. So with IOI Palmwood and the IOI group in general, we're looking at generating a very circular economic business model. Um, and then we think that this is the way that we can really drive the industry and, and industrialize all of the R&D and the research that's been done uh, over the last 30 or so years. So again, I just want to re-emphasize that what's driving us actually is the purpose, the purpose in terms of the innovation which has been available and thank you very much to palmwood.net uh, for, for the innovation there. The types of products which can be made, which are marketable and acceptable into the market. We also want to be people centric. So we have like the economic multiplier effect to help the community. There's the um, climate um, issue. So we, we're helping to reduce the uh, overall climate, uh, sorry, we reduce the overall uh, carbon emissions, so this helping uh, on global warming. And I think last but not least is the sustainability. I mean, this is a real sustainability story, whereas on the tropical timbers and other timbers, we're talking about a decline. But for OPT and palm products, we're talking about continuous growth and continuous sustainability. And then from this purpose, we can then drive profit. So this is where we need to have the business acumen to drive the financing, the cash flows, sales, marketing, and of course, the, the scalability. And again, just to re-emphasize the profit with purpose, we truly believe that profit isn't a purpose, but it's a result. It's a result of what we, are trying to do and what we're what we're doing here at um, Iowa and Palmwood. So again, we're looking at the goal, we're looking at the, the product, we're looking at the people, we're looking at the planet, and we're looking at the process. We're, we're creating a new business model. We're addressing a material shortage in terms of uh, timbers. We're looking at an economic multiplier effect to help both the local economy and uh, also the, uh, the national economy. We're helping to use waste material to capture carbon. And we're also looking at automating as much as possible so that we're also having a, a, a high performance material in terms of consistency of quality and in, in terms of consistency of uh, performance. 
So I'd like to thank everybody for, for listening to us. And um, if anybody has any questions, you can please uh, ask me the questions now, or you can contact me on the following contact information and I'd be more than happy to, uh, to contact you uh, after, this, uh, after this session. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Peter Fitch, uh, for giving us an insight in the motivation of IOI Palmwood and especially the way to go for the future. Uh, are there any questions from the floor, please? I think, Professor, uh, that... Dr. Kaj, uh, Kaj, I want to ask something. Yes, go ahead. Unmute yourself. Unmute, unmute. Sorry, yeah, sorry, yeah, it was not it was a question, it was applause to the presenter. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, could you repeat that? Sorry, it was it was my applause to your okay, presentation. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. So much. <laughs> okay. and, and any questions you have to ask with repeaters, and if not question, you already given the contact details. So yes. you can you can contact to him on further details mm -hmm. through his uh, email okay. ID and contact numbers. So, okay, I'm very sure that we'll, there will be a lot of questions later on, Peter. So, yes, yes. Uh, I mean, I I just like to 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 finish on that. Um, you know, the R and D and the you know the the the, the amount of R and D that's been done is is huge. Now, really, we've got to commercialize this. We've really got to to walk the talk, so to speak. I mean, we we we've we've heard so many times about how good this is, what the opportunities are, and how we can be sustainable and save the planet, blah, 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 blah. But we've really got to walk the talk now and we've got to make this work. Yeah, Peter, one question is coming to you from the one participant. She's asking, uh, she's thank you for your uh, approach. I would like to know how would you increase the move to use uh, oil pump front for composites in Malaysia by small state uh, people, how would you help to work the talk with the research institution in Malaysia together? Two questions are there. One is composites, another is the how you are going to integrate with the research institutions for working together. Okay, I, um, I very I try to answer them very very quickly. I think um, there's no better advert for this product than success. So I think once we start operation, which I know will not be easy, there'll be lots of problems and lots of hiccups along the way. But once we start to get the product out into the market and people see the product we're making and they see the sort of progress we're making, I think this will drive the next phase very, very fast. Okay, Peter, one quick question I want to take from one uh, participant, Dr. Gerson from the Saudi is asking that, you have any problem of collections of the raw materials in order to start producing the composites? Um, no, I think um, we have more than enough uh, material within the IOI group because where we're where we're uh, siting the plant is is really in the epicenter of where most of the oil palm plantations are for the IOI group. But even without the IOI group, there are so many other. So many other players companies. are there, you know. Yeah. So in Malaysia, we have no issue. Last no, question, no Peter, issue. I just want to take on the drying. Uh, no. Dr. Nurul Hisham is asking that, can you give the drying cost of OPT, you know? Um, not, over, not over this presentation, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Nurul Hisham, you can discuss later on with the yeah. pictures regarding that one. But that's why we need to use the biomass to do the, the heating, because if we use conventional um, fossil fuels or electricity, then of course it wouldn't be commercially viable. Okay. Thanks, Peter. Okay. Thank you so much. Thanks again, Peter, for welcome, answering you. the questions. If more questions, you send an email to Peter yeah. or an email to Dr. Möhringer, or if you are interested in trying, I, I personally can give you some ideas and I also could mention who is the expert in